So I thought I'd do a quick video on how to install a Drayton Wiser uh, thermos, like smart thermostat into um, a Valiant Combi boiler. So this is the uh, Ecotec Plus 824 uh, Valiant Combi boiler uh, set up in the kitchen. And um, uh, first thing you have to do is open it up. Um, so to open it up, there is this screw you need to remove, which you can basically remove by your hand and then two of these little tabs that you need to push up and then the whole front comes off. So I'm gonna do that now. Show you what it's... This is what it looks like with the front off. Uh, basically these things fold down, or this thing folds down. And um, then you can access behind the panel. There's just a couple little tabs around it to pop it off. Not much difficulty really. hard because you can see it too. So then this little cover comes off. There's an extra uh, fuse on the back too if you need that. Fuses actually goes right there under that black thing. Okay, so this is what you see when you look at the circuit board. Um, the directions, to be honest, aren't quite clear and the diagram does not match uh, that one on the one for this 824 on the Valiant website. Uh, so it'll be a little bit of trial and error, but my understanding is we need to connect the five connectors or four connectors actually to um, neutral live and then this uh, RT uh, connector. I actually have a hunch that it doesn't matter which arrangement I put the uh, two in here on the RT one um, because it's open by default and then it closes so it will just connect them um, but we will see um, with trial and So um, I'm going to uh, give an attempt to run the wires in there. Um, and just to note, when you're running the wires in, there's these little plugs. There's only one used currently in mine. Um, I plan to just kind of remove these and run the wire through here and then run it out with the current control wires, um, just as a separate one. Quick update. So what I've done is I've connected to the purple one and the green one. Um, same order for the purple one, there was nothing in it. Um, and this will go for the control, kind of the live and common. I'm actually not sure that's what they're called. Anyways, and then you have the um, the brown is the live, the blue is neutral, and the yellow green is ground or earth. So I pulled out the plug so you could get them easier, um, and I combined uh, the three on the right because there were already plugs in there. Okay, so I've run, I've plugged these back in. Um, you can see that they're run together. I've put the hole in here, tied that down, hole here, tied that down. This runs through a, um, one of the little orifice things I opened up for this cable. And then on the other end, I have assigned it this way. So the neutral is blue, the, um, live is brown, and then one I've put on the kind of calm or off value for the RT. And then three, I've put on the on value for RT. You can see that the, the one is black and then the uh, three is gray. And that lines up over there. Now I'm gonna see if this works right um, before I set it all up. Okay guys, I've tried um, like four or five different things. My girlfriend's come over and added some reason into the process. I was just doing many trials and errors. So what I ended up doing was we disconnected this one and I just covered it off with some insulating tape here. And we also disconnected the loop that was on 24RT. Um, so now we just have the three 230 volt RT running into the back here. And that's going into three. And then what I've done is I've connected one into the live. And then obviously the neutral is still connected. I've also connected the earth to the ground earth there. And I've connected it right. Okay guys, so an update, this completely worked. Yeah, thank you to my girlfriend for solving the unsolvable. Um, so 
Right now you see the heating is off and this says whatever it says. And it says it's 15.5 at the thermostat. If I turn the boost on, you hear that click? And you see that, which is a radiator sign. Basically, now we have control. Before the situation that we had, when we had the wrong cables in the wrong spots, we, it was basically always on. So, yeah, not sure what caused that. So, I disconnected my old remote control thermostat. Um, you can see where it was, and I put this in there, the new one. Um, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't fully fit. Anyways, uh, still trying to sort out the radiator situations because they don't fit either. Um, I think I might have old radiators, I'm not really sure. But yeah, um, success, uh, where success is at and credit where it's due. My girlfriend finally sorted out the issue because I tried like five different ways of plugging the connectors in and it didn't work. So I'm gonna tidy this up and then tomorrow I'm gonna mount that on the little wall panel behind there.